Hi, I'm Miles Sabin, and this screencast will show you how to get started with the Scala IDE for Eclipse. If you're already an Eclipse user, you can install the Scala IDE from its update site. I recommend starting with Eclipse Classic. All you need to do is specify the location of the Scala IDE update site. I'm using the nightly build, so I have the latest Scala 2.8 features. Select the two required components and click through to download the plugin right into Eclipse. The plugin isn't signed, so you'll need to OK the warning dialog. Finally, restart Eclipse for the changes to take effect. Now that we're in our workspace, we can select the Scala perspective. The workspace you now see contains several areas. One to list the projects you're working on, one to show any problems in your project, or output from your code, and an outline of the file you're working on. The large central area is where you'll do your coding. You can create a new Scala project using this menu. We'll give the project a name and click Finish to accept all the defaults. The Package Explorer now shows us the project, and we can expand it to see what it contains, which is a folder for our source code and a reference to the Scala and Java libraries. From the same menu we used to create the project, we can create our first program, which will be a Scala object. The Scala ID has created a Scala source file for us and opened it in an editor. We can complete our program by adding the traditional implementation. Note that co-completion is available, and the ruler and the editor highlight errors as we type. The outline view also updates to show the object structure. Saving the file causes the object to be compiled. Run the program by pressing the green Run button and selecting the class. Open the console view, and you'll see the expected output. If we make a mistake in our code and save it, a compiler error will appear in the problems view. Double-clicking on the error takes us to the problem wherever it is. The Scala IDE can also give you information about types and their documentation. If we hover over string, we can see its documentation appear. If we create our own values, which have their type inferred, we can see that the IDE helps us by giving us information about the inferred type. If we hover while holding down the modifier key, Command on the Mac, Control on Linux and Windows, we can link to the definition of the highlighted element. There's plenty more to the Scala IDE. Take a look at scalaide.org where you'll find a wiki with documentation and helpful articles and resources. If you have any questions, the place to ask them is the Scala IDE user mailing list. If you like what you see and you'd like to contribute, head over to the Scala IDE dev mailing list. Patches are always welcome.